Hello, welcome to Bible study. Today we're going to meet Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a priest. He belonged to a family of priests. The role was inherited. Although when we first meet him at the beginning of Jeremiah chapter 1, he is too young to be working as a priest. He came from a small village not far from Jerusalem. From their history, we know that it was probably a bit of a backwater for priests. So Jeremiah probably never expected to have much of a voice to the nation. We begin with his name, Jeremiah, because Jeremiah is precious to God. He was created and loved by God. We know more about Jeremiah's life than we do the other prophets. So we can watch his struggles, feel his grief and share his faith. Jeremiah was really quite an unsuccessful prophet. His secretary was probably his only follower and he really didn't get many likes. Hardly anyone listened to him, but that didn't stop him. So perhaps he can help us re-evaluate our attitude to success. Jeremiah got tired, felt sorry for himself. He wept over the suffering of his people, but they took no notice of his warnings. He was rejected and ridiculed and felt like giving up. But he kept on and his words still speak to us today. God doesn't value you by what you can do for him or for your great abilities and gifts. He loves you and he calls you by name. The name Jeremiah means, the Lord raises up, or the Lord throws like a javelin or a spear. Both those meanings could apply to Jeremiah. The important thing is that it is God who raises him up and throws him into the thick of things. I love the story of John the Baptist where his dad is prophesying about baby John and says much more about Jesus than he does about John. Like John the Baptist said, I must decrease and he must increase. My life is meant to be about Jesus. I fail, but I hope. God spoke to Jeremiah. Jeremiah listened and passed on the message for 40 years. He stayed true because he was rooted in God. He stayed courageous because he trusted God. He stayed whole because he poured out his heart and soul to God. He stayed real because he believed what God said. Thank you for listening. Bye.